In today's exciting episode, Saber Rider fights a duel with the greatest swordsman alive. Colt runs into hard times, and April pilots Ramrod against a menacing renegade. Danger leads to the Baron's mysterious underground moat. What is he hiding? Find out next on Saber Rider and the Star Sheriffs. Across the new frontier, mountains opened up, the earth trembled, lava erupted, and flying stones hailed from the sky. The people were saved, but many of our automatic transport vehicles never made it out. Saber Rider, everyone was saved, but we must find out what's causing these eruptions. Our only lead is a mysterious man who wanted us to sign some suspicious papers. Some men rob you with a six gun, some with a fountain pen. Well, that's just the way it is. You know, there is a pattern to these eruptions, and I've pinpointed the next probable target. You've never been wrong yet, April. What is this target location? A castle in the Western Highlands. I suggest you go there immediately. I'll inform Cavalry Command of your mission. I think... Yes, there it is. <gasps> oh. It's the castle of Mountain Haze, set over a deep blue water moat. I give it an eight and a half. Oh, you know you like it. You think they could use an extra princess down there? It's just a shanty with a lot of fancy doolollies, if you ask me. Its owner is the famous Baron Vaughn, the greatest living swordsman. He doesn't like visitors of any kind. Gee, that's bad news for him, because he's got some now. Oh, Baron, the Star Sheriffs are coming. We know for a fact they're going to try to take your castle away. We can help you, but not unless you sign these papers. No more dilly-dallying, or you'll have to face Saber Rider yourself. Here, sign them. This is what I think of your papers. <sighs> I am a royal lord. If Saber Rider dares to come here, I will answer him with this. Sword to Saber Rider in a duel of honor. Of course, I'm sure that is something you don't understand, Mr. Altag. You can't afford to take chances. I will decide what I can and cannot afford to do. Not anymore! Right! Let him do it his way. If he fails, then we'll call for the Outriders. Yes, I see what you mean. Baron, I trust you'll pardon us if we don't wait around for the show. Good luck. You'll need it. I despise cards. Well, we're here, but when do we see the Baron? These fancy Dan types like to keep you waiting. See any signs of life top sword? Mm, not yet. Oh, wouldn't you just love to live in a palace like this? Personally, I prefer a home where the buffalo roam. Know what I mean? That mountain looks like the one that erupted into a volcano back at the frontier outpost. Yes, that's exactly what we're afraid is going to happen, but I don't think it will be easy to convince the Baron. Oh. Huh? Hey. I thought you said the Baron didn't like visitors. He doesn't. They must have been here for a special reason. And I'm gonna find out what it was. Careful, they look creepy. The Baron will see you now. As one nobleman to another, I greet you, Baron. This is our navigator, April, and the youngest star sheriff, Fireball. Pleased, Pleased to, meet to meet you, Baron. Baron. 
We came because we believe your castle is in danger. There is the possibility of a volcanic eruption. It is quite serious. We are hoping you will cooperate with us, Baron. What do you say? Hey, come on, Saber Rider's talking to you. You can at least answer him. What's that? Forgive him, Baron, he's a little brash, but he's only concerned with your safety, as we all are. There may not be much time, and the effects of an eruption could be devastating. Enough! You don't fool me. I know what you're after. They told me you would try to take away my castle. Who, who said that? Don't cross-examine me, my young friend. I am not a man to take such things lightly. I hope you are getting my point. Those wranglers are moving, but so am I. Jumping tumbleweeds. I'm getting bushwhacked. Must be how they fly down under. Here it comes. I'm headed straight for that cliff. Wow! Guess they all went home. And I was having fun! I don't think they recognized me. That cowboy will follow anyone. He thinks this is all a big game. They won't take us seriously until we show some muscle. The Baron is key. He's got to come to our side. How? However, he's going on a fox hunt this afternoon. Let's send some boys after him. Give him a little scare. Fine. Don't even tell me about it. Just do it. Meanwhile, I'll prepare the volcano. <laughs> time like this? What a strange guy. I mean, what's he doing living out here in the middle of nowhere anyway? Yep. I'd like to know that myself. He's following tradition. Huh? Well, his traditions are leading him straight into trouble. You know that, and I know that. But until he knows it, we'll have to watch him closely. He needs our protection. I've released the cybernetic fox. It looks real, but of course it's just mechanical. Very good. All right, you hound dogs, let's go! <laughs> I score five points if I light up his tail. <laughs> you had it, Baron. You're threatening me. It's not a threat. That's a promise. You should never make promises you can't keep. enemy, yet you fought on my behalf. Why? Because we are here to help you. You like the knight, I like the castle. Yet we're both pawns. I am never a pawn. I control my own destiny with an iron will. 
You may be surprised, Baron. Even a man like you can lose control at times like this. Your estate is very beautiful, but it could all come to an end if that mountain erupts. Tell us who you've been talking to. Now we know someone has been putting pressure on you. Who are they? Where can we find them? Hmm. I told you I didn't want to talk about that. Go on, don't come back! Well, glad you could make it, Top Sword. Things are heating up here in more ways than one, if you get my drift. Hmm, volcanic pressure? Exactly. It builds up underground and then pushes its way up through cracks and crevices. But it usually takes hundreds of years. We think the Outriders might be sort of helping nature along on this one. Only the Baron can lead us to them. If I read your chart correctly, April, they must be controlling the lava from over here. That's my best guess. I want you to take Ramrod there as quickly as possible. Well, that's fine, Pard, but what about the Baron Von Sword Slasher? Well, there is one hope. His code of honor requires that he accept a challenge from a fellow nobleman. I'm going to challenge him to a duel. <gasps> That's right, Baron. Mm -hmm. It's hot because there is molten lava under your castle, spreading everywhere, heating up everything. This castle is famous in legends and songs, the castle of the mountain haze. But that mountain is about to erupt, and the haze will turn to smoke and ash. You are just trying to scare me again, Silver Rider, but I won't listen. The water is probably warm because of a change in the weather. That's all. You can't push me. No, but I can challenge you. And as a fellow nobleman, you must accept my challenge according to the code of chivalry. Now, I know your reputation as the greatest living swordsman, but I think you may be overrated. Of course, if I win, then I will call the shots. Well, Baron, do you accept my challenge? <laughs> Recall Miss April predicting this was gonna happen? That lava's going to destroy the castle. We've got to try to stop it. I don't know how, but if there's a way, we'll find it. Hang on to your hats! I am the greatest swordsman in this quadrant. I have defeated a hundred young upstarts like you, and I am more than willing to make it a hundred and to one! Oh, God! <laughs> How about the behind the ear? Your sword is sharp, man, but your wits have grown dull. First your hairs, then your heart. <laughs> your style's rather crude, Baron. <laughs> Who taught the defense, Genghis Khan? <laughs> the lava's flowing toward the castle. We've got to cut a break in the side of the mountain to stop it. Well, that worked for about two seconds. There's something else there, and I don't like its looks. What is it? A renegade unit! Watch out! Let's do it! Ramrod will now take navigational control. Acknowledge, April. Navigational control on. Ramrod challenge phase one. Head him up, move him out. Quick draw! Give up at any time. Don't count on it. Very nice. 
sorry, but we don't allow people to hang around the castle. And I'm afraid there's no place else to go but down. <laughs> you have lost, Saber Rider. But now you must pay the price. My good man, it's never over until it's over. And now, for a brief lesson in manners. As I was saying, Baron, I want some information. All right, I will tell you. It was a man named Reltag. You passed him on your way in to see me. Reltag, Reltag. Of course! Reltag is Gatla spelled backwards! Baron! I'm going to stop them! You okay, kid? Yeah! Saber Rider calling Ramrod. How are you chumps holding up? Oh, we're swell, Saber Rider. No problem on our end of things. Handle this yourself. It's much too dangerous. Farewell, Saber Rider. He's trying to make up for his mistake. Now he certainly has courage. Fireball, use my map to try dynamics. All right, top sword. <laughs> the castle of the mountain haze. If I miss, I'll destroy it. Take your best shot, Baron. You know when the time is right. No! What's he doing out there? Trying to open the moat. I hope he can blast through, because we've got our hands full with this renegade. Whoa! Tackle him. Lift off! There. I've broken through the blue water moat. I cannot stop the lava. Head for the moat. Right. Now drop him in. He's made to function in lava, not water. If we blast it now, the water and lava will cancel each other out. It'll all turn into steam. Working. There it goes. Saber Rider was right all along. Baron, you're one of a kind. Thank you, sir. You have a sharp sword and a generous heart. You're a big enough man to admit when you're wrong. And I know that's not easy for you. I've become too proud. But I am going to change that now, thanks to you. We can all use a little humility. Look, now the Baron's giving him some kind of gift. I wonder what it is. I hope it's something you can eat. All right. <gasps> <gasps> what is that thing? It looks like an octopus with funny flags and horns on it. It's a musical instrument, isn't it? Right, traditional Highland bagpipes. Here, I'll play a little tune for you. Well, nobody's perfect. Sounds like a cat got his tail scrunched by a rocking chair. Oh, really? I thought I could record a hit song with this. Sure, Saber Rider. You might say it's in the bag. <laughs> <laughs>